Problem 5. An air-filled capacitor consists of two parallel plates, each with an area of 7.6 square centimeters, separated by a distance of 3.2 millimeters and 10 volts. Okay? Calculate the electric field between the plates. Alright, so this goes back to the whole idea of, we know that voltage equals negative integral, oh, that's a little crazy, E dot dr, and since we have the electric field is constant, we can pull it out, and we get voltage equals negative E dot, e dot negative E times distance between the two. So, we want to find the electric field, so we re rearrange this equation, we find that electric field equals negative V over D. Bam, super easy. So, hmm, I don't know if they want the negative in there or not. I'll put it in there, but they might not want it. All right. So, let's see here. Voltage is 10, and the distance is 3.2 millimeters. So I'm going to do 10 divided by quantity 3.2 times 10 to the negative third, since we're dealing with millimeters. This will give us probably something in the thousands. Wait a sec, did they ask for kilo? Aha. So I'm just going to get rid of this 10 to the third. because it'll just automatically make it kilo on the top. You'll see. You don't have to. You can follow it through. All right, 3.125. Bam. This will be 3.125. There we go. And I'm going to throw the negative in there. They may or may not want it. Eh, we can put the negative in. It'll be nice. All right. Calculate the surface charge density. Hmm, okay, okay. So, really have no idea where to start with this guy. So, I'm just going to start writing up equations. So, I'm going to say the capacitance is Q over V. Oh, make this guy big. There we go. Q over V. We also know for a parallel plate capacitor that that's going to equal epsilon times area over distance. Oh, a little bit behind the picture, that's okay. Okay, so now when we rearrange this guy, make a little arrow, so we're going to have Q over A equals, let's see, we have an epsilon up here, we'll have a voltage up here, and we'll have a distance down there. All right, and this guy right here, whoop, this guy will be sigma. By sigma, I mean surface charge density. Bam. And we can kind of tell that because uh, Q charge is measured in coulombs, and area is measured in meters squared. So that seems reasonable. And then this epsilon here is going to be epsilon naught, since I think I said charge, air filled, air filled. Air, it's about 1. So epsilon is actually epsilon naught times epsilon r, where epsilon r is specific to the dielectric. But if you have air, then epsilon equals epsilon naught. Okay. Let's see. Is there going to be any tricks to this? I don't think so. So voltage we know is 10. Distance we know is 3.2. Did I use 3.2 before? Yep. Okay. So we're just going to take our... So right here, this is just going to be um, um, electric field. So I'm basically going to take the previous answer and multiply that by 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12th, which is epsilon, not. Mm -hmm. Epsilon 0, there we go. So 2.76 times 10 to the negative 11th. Hmm. I wonder why there's a V in there. Does that V matter? Times 10 to the ninth. And I'm just multiplying by 10 to the ninth. That way I'm converting it to hmm. 
I'm going to do 12. That way I'm converting it to pico. 27.6 pico. This is 20, no, they wanted nano. So we have epsilon not here, we have the voltage there, and that is ah, There we go. I had to convert it back to millimeters. So 27.6. There we go. That seems more reasonable. 27.6 nanocoulombs per meter squared. Okay. Now we'll calculate the capacitance. So we can use pretty much either formula we want here. Hmm. Which one would be easiest? I'm going to do it. Um, Epsilon times area divided by distance. So 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12th, which is epsilon naught, times area, which they gave us, I believe. 7.6. Hmm. Okay, so we got 7.6 centimeters squared. So 7.6 centimeters squared. So we know there's 100 centimeters per meter. So we're going to have to square this, guys. So this then becomes 10 to the fourth. Because 10 squ uh, 100 is 10 squared. 10 squared squared is 10 times, you know, 10 to the 2 to the 2. And you multiply the two twos together. They come 4. So I'm going to do 7.6 divided by 10 to the fourth. So times 7.6 divided by 10 to the fourth. Put a little parenthesis here. Then we need to have the distance between the two, which is 3.2. 3.2. 3.2 times 10 to the negative third. All right, do they want something in pico? Yes, all right, so we've probably got at least close to the right answer. So this right here is epsilon naught. This is the area. This, these two right here are the area. And this is the distance. Okay, so I'm going to do 2.1 pico farads. 2.1. And the formula we used, just in case you didn't catch that, is this guy right there. Calculate the charge on each plate. Okay? So there's probably a lot of ways we can do this. I'm going to do Q equals C times V. Q, so I'm using this formula right here now. All right, so we know capacitance, which is what we just had. So I'm just going to use the same formula I had written in. Now I need to find out what the voltage was, is. 10. Nice. Times 10. Hmm. I could probably do that one in my head. So this will be 21 picos. 21 picocoulombs. Nice. 21 picocoulombs. All right. So the secret here is knowing that voltage equals negative E dot dr, which then becomes voltage equals negative uh, electric field times distance. And then knowing that the capacitance is defined as charge over voltage, which for a parallel plate capacitor is epsilon. Yes, epsilon times area divided by distance. All right, and that's number five. On to number six.